everyone, it's Kimberly watching Lovely Overload. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. Today is just going to be a, I guess, hair update on my progress with transitioning. And I'm just going to show you um, a quick way I style my hair while transitioning. Okay. So right now, uh, yeah, I'm looking kind of crazy, as you can see. This is just how my hair is after a... Um, a flexi rod twist that I had in. I used the yellow ones for the back and the red ones for the top. I'll do a tutorial for this, but um, I just worry about some stuff being redundant. And there are so many flexi rod tutorials, like you really don't need to see me do it too. So I might just do it to show, I guess, like the very basic aspects of it, but not really like an in detail tutorial because I feel like you guys know how to do it and I'm just so late showing you. So whatever. But um, if you want to see that, let me know below and I'll definitely get on top of it. But as it stands right now, I think you guys are fine. Right or wrong, I don't know. So this is my hair after I had my flexi rod in and I wore it out and rocked it. Boom, 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 boom. Did a little twist to the side. Do, 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 do. Had that in for maybe two or three days. Um, and with working out and sweating and everything like that, they don't really stay cute that long. Like, I mean, the curls are pretty much all still intact, but... Whatever, and I mean, I would rock it like this with a um, a headband on, which is completely cool for me. But I'm just gonna show you guys a little quick funky style that I do, which is kind of, I guess, a twist on the mohawk thing that everyone's been done. This has also been done. Everything has been done. Nothing is original anymore in the world. But whatever. <laughs> this is how I do it. This is the first time for you seeing me do it, right or wrong. Okay. So this is uh, my moisturizer that I use. I introduced this moisturizer a long time ago. Even when I was not transitioning, this was the moisturizer I used on my relaxed, ha my relaxed hair as well. Now I have two textures. I have my natural kinky curly roots and my um, straight ends. And I still use this. It's Hydrotherma Naturals. It's only available online. And this bottle is like $18. And since being... <laughs> transitioning and being natural or on the road to becoming completely natural I'm using this a lot a lot, lot more because when your hair is relaxed you kind of don't want it heavy and weighed down but when it's natural and the roots get dry very fast so I've been using quite a bit of this product and um yeah so I'm probably gonna have to buy like two or three at a time um it smells really good and actually it smells like a cookie or cake or candy or something and I um actually tasted it but <laughs> by mistake of course and it didn't taste bad at all and everything in here is pretty much natural and I think what makes it taste so I mean smells so good I'm sorry I'm not eating this is the macadamia nut oil it smells delicious that's what it reminds me of I'm not sure okay so what I do you'll need this I'm sorry I got inside myself I also use this Carol Daughters macadamia hold and control smoother and this um is good for your edges and basically it's like any of the other edge control products it's a clear product you can see through it it um has a nice smell with macadamia again it's thick um it's expensive it's overpriced it's carol's daughter what, what else do you want from me okay 22 dollars for this but it's a pretty um big size i guess I'm trying to make myself feel better no it's not, it's not really big at all um, you'll need a hard goodie brush like this. Um, I may need a couple of just regular bobby pins. I'm not sure yet. And uh, I sometimes use a little clip like this. I don't know if you can even see this clip like this. I don't know. And uh, maybe a little decorative. Um, this is a little cheetah style-esque uh, bow. Don't know yet. Okay, so first what you do is take it, oh, I'm sorry, and you'll need a banana clip. Durr. And this one's clear. I would prefer to use a black one, but it doesn't matter. You don't really see it much anyway once it's done. Also, if you guys have not noticed, I did dye my hair. I used the box color dye um, from, I think it's L'Oreal. I think it was Honey Blonde with the girl on the front with the half ponytail whatever and this is the color that it gave me I really like the color um, but as you can tell the color took mostly at the roots of my hair and not so much at the um, at the end surprise surprise natural hair 
light faster than processed. And this is my bag. I think I don't know if you can see here, but I think it um actually is light like that all the way around. Mm. I like that style too. Okay. All right. So we're gonna take the moisturizer and about this much. And I apply this mainly right now on my edges because that's where I really want this to be moisturized at. And it also helps with smoothing it. Um, if you are maybe like all the way natural, you could apply water. It depends on, I guess, the texture of your hair, what, what works good for your hair. But I know that my hair is thirsty, so I'm just going to go ahead and with this product. And you see how it, it already gives me that smoothing effect. Get to the kitchen. Get the kitchen girl. Get the kitchen girl. And I get it like that. And then what I do with my brush is I just brush it. And ooh. Mm -hmm. All I'm doing is smoothing it right now. You see how that looks nice and smooth? Um, right now, like if you were a braider, you could braid this. I'm not a braider, so I won't even try to embarrass myself with my lack of braiding abilities. And I'm not brushing all the way through because I want to maintain the curls at the end because they're going to be the, um, the highlight of this hairstyle. You can do the same thing for the top, even though for the top. We're gonna create a little hump. So it don't need to be smooth up. We'll just really kind of brush the moisturizer in. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and hand is greasy. We're gonna go ahead and open up the edge smoother. Whew, I don't think it's gonna be able to get that. And then with this, this is like more of a, um, you can focus on getting your edges really. These are my edges. And be careful with these kind of products because, I mean, all of them from high end to low end to whatever, all sometimes if you use too much tend to give your hair that white look. So I like to really make sure I have done my best to um, smooth it in. And then I brush my edges like that. Okay, now once you've got it about to where you want it, you want to work on pushing all the hair over to the side, maintaining that smooth effect. You're gonna get a piece of your banana clip and you're gonna stick it in, making sure at the bottom it's not um, catching any hair in the way, see it's free. Right here, I don't know if you can see that, but because if you put it down too low, your hairs will get caught in between, and we're not really here for pulling out our hair. That's not what we're we're trying to achieve. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. My camera died. Uh, well, actually, the memory card filled up on me, but all you missed was I just connected the two pieces. Um, you saw me put the one on this side, and then I went, you know, to put the one on this side. And I brought them together trying to make it as equal in the middle as I can. And um, at the top, I kind of you have to part it so you can, um, I don't know if you can see this, so you can connect them. Again, same kind of concept as far as the bottom is concerned of not wanting to pull down your hairs. And then all I do is pull the hair through, you know, to make sure any pieces that were caught. And I'm fluffing it out to creating that, that nice, you know, party in the back that um mohawky type look 
and that's why this is good to do with curly ends and when you when I am fully natural which I'm sure this will, it will probably take me a year or two to get back to this length once I do big chop don't know how long I'm gonna transition I don't know okay I just don't know and then again for the front like I said what I like to do is um, come up with my brows arch the top of the arch and I um, kind of part that out and this is gonna be where I'm gonna create that puff but on these side areas where I'll take it to the back and just twisting it back and I'm just gonna secure it with the bobby pencil I don't have that big ass <laughs> um, blah on the top there Let's see that's all this is doing is extending the mohawk up to the top area so take it then if this part was curly too but it's not because I had already twisted it the other day I would rock it you know kind of coming to the front and if it was longer this is very broken so we're not even gonna try to fake it what I do is gather it and I push it up so I do have something going for me in the front here and I just secure that as well with a bobby pin and you can continue with your fluffing party fluff your hearts up so that is the completed look um yeah yes it is it's completed that's how it looks I don't want to look crazy <laughs> but that's how it looks uh, basically like when you're transitioning it's hard it's gonna be hard to style your hair because you're you've been used to the relaxed hair you've been used to wearing the straight styles and wrapping your hair at night and you know all those things that you were bonded to and you just you know it, it's all you know so this is really fun and creative time um, before you if you're going to big chop I'm not sure if I'm going to or not but if and this time you know your hair still has some length to it it has the nice strong foundation of natural roots and the very weak and brittle ends of the relaxed hair and you just are kind of you know finding your balance finding where you fit and this is a good time when you're able to see if this is a journey that you really want to go on and I'm having so much fun with coming up with different ways to rock my hair and um, different styles that I can do at home because um, I'm doing this you know on my own I'm not going to the hairdresser and getting my hair done and yes have I been flat ironing it and pressing it out yeah but it just doesn't even look right at this point when I do that so uh, I haven't been doing it as much um, yeah so but basically like what my plans are for my hair as of as it stands right now I am planning to um, wear my hair out for about two more weeks and then I'm gonna get a quick sew-in done um, so for when I go to Miami um, just to be a little bit more manageable and then when I come back from that I might uh, cut my hair I might big chop it I'm not sure I might I'm scared I don't know I don't even know if it's necessary at this point I might but I might and then I'm um, going to get some long twist in I know that for sure is gonna happen whether I cut it or I don't cut it so even if I cut it I'm still gonna get some twisting so maybe have like two or three inches of hair after I cut off the relaxed ends um, some surprises along the way have been to find out how soft my um, natural hair is. I always thought of it as being very coarse and very unruly, but it's not at all. It's actually very soft. It's um, 
as long as it's properly nice and conditioned, it is very, very manageable. Um, yes, it's very thick. My hair has always been very thick, whether it's been relaxed or natural. My hair is always thick, so I think that's a plus for me. Um, I'm just loving this all the way around. I don't know if I'll color it, uh, lighten it again like this. I do like this gradient effect that it has of the lighter um, around my face, kind of, and then the darker to the back. I'm not sure. I guess the back is like a 4, and this is like a 30 and a 4. I don't know. Um, my natural curl pattern is so not even noticeable at this point because I still have uh, quite a bit of relaxed hair. So I don't even know what that is, but I can always add my roots. I know you guys can't see this because my camera sucks, but I, whatever. Um, at my roots, you can see it kind of the way it kind of coils. But all this is being stretched because of the pull of this style. So, yeah, can't really say anything about it, really. But, but pretty much, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, hair tutorial and this update. I will be trying my best to come back and keep you guys posted with my progress on this natural hair journey. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. I love you a lot. Thank you guys so much for all your continued love and support of my channel. I will be back with more videos, I promise. 